what's up guys AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video uh, today I want to be talking about the following Pokemon uh, being Doctrio as you can see on the screen uh, most of you who have been watching my streams recently and have probably heard me bashing this Pokemon on <laughs> that it should be banned in my opinion uh, yeah a lot of people might disagree with me um, mostly probably the people who are using Doctrio think that Doctrio is definitely balanced but come on guys Ductrio has been banned in pretty much every Pokemon MMO. Talk about Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's banned in Pokemon Planet as well. Pokemon Revolution. Like the big Pokemon, Pokemon MMO PvP games. But also in the Smogon uh, OU tiers. Like from generation, in just Generation 5 it was banned. I'm pretty sure in Generation 4 it was banned uh, with Arena Trap. Generation 6 it was banned. Generation... Generation 7, I think it got back for a bit, but then got banned again, because Pokemon is stupid. And Generation 8, I actually don't know. Um, but there's a reason why it's banned so in so many games. And yeah, uh, Pokemon MMO did allow this Pokemon to be played. They tried to nerf the ability Arena Trap. That's the reason, by the way, um, I'm talking about this, because I honestly think Arena Trap... Shadow Tag, those abilities are kind of stupid. But Ductrio having such a high speed stat, such speeding many Pokemon and many frail fast Pokemon as well. And because of the Poké Sash, it usually doesn't really care about a fast Pokemon because it lives any hit and can just KO them in return as fast Pokemon are usually frail. But yeah, Ductrio on its own is not a big issue. But if you pair it up with the right members, uh, it becomes really annoying. Uh, I'm mainly talking about stall, guys. Uh, the reason I like PvP in this game is because I felt like stall actually took some skill. Because it was really difficult to pull off stall in this game. Uh, because a lot of Pokemon just had such big move pulls. Uh, which made it really difficult to prepare for a lot of things in the meta. Uh, because it's really difficult to account for <laughs> Every set a Pokemon can be running, like Gyarados, for example, being able to run Power Whip, Ice Fang, and Waterfall. It's really difficult to stop that, for example. But there are many more examples. Uh, a lot of Pokemon having close combat and having um, different move pools as well. Making it really difficult for st Stall to actually counter fixed sets. But the thing is with Stall is... Whenever you see a Stall team, they usually have something like a Weavile or a Tyranitar uh, with Pursuit. And Pursuit basically trapping certain Pokemon, uh, which could otherwise be a threat to your team. And Doctrio has a way better way, uh, has a way better way of trapping uh, Pokemon that your team might be weak against. Because right now, the most common. Let me actually show you guys the. Duck Trail set. As you guys can see, uh, this is probably the most used Duck Trail set Earthquake Reversal Stone Edge Style Rug with a Focus Sash. The Focus Sash is the most important item, as um, because with this item, the Duck Trail player can pretty much play Brain Dead. But let me show you two Pokemon who are really difficult to kill. Th these are probably two of the mo most difficult Pokemon to kill Togekiss. Guys, Togekiss and Golbat. These Pokemon are like two of the most difficult Pokemon to kill. And the Pokemon that can actually be a threat to these Pokemon uh, get destroyed by Ductro. With a few exceptions, of course, like Weavile takes care of all three. But yeah, you guys tell me. Uh, killing to How do you kill Togekiss and Golbat? Which Pokemon do you use? You might be thinking about Tyranitar, Magnezone. That's kind of Pokemon. Maybe Jolteon. That's kind of Pokemon. Now, guess what? Guess which member can easily take care of them? Ductrio, right? Uh, obviously, you have stuff like Rotom, uh, which does really well into these teams. Hydreigon, but this is why you have teammates. Let, let me actually show you guys an example of a full stall team. But I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying, guys, that this is the best stall team, but anything uh, but these these are, are really common partners with Ductrio 
Now, as you guys can see, um, this is the team. I didn't prepare anything, by the way. This is gonna be the team, and like this. And basically, the idea is sweep with Togekiss and Volcarona, uh, trap anything with Ductrio that can kill them, mainly Rock type users. And we have Empo they have Empoleon to deal with the Weavile. Like, Empoleon resists every attack unless Weavile is running low kick. It's not really common, but otherwise, Empoleon completely wants that. Empoleon doesn't even die to low kick. And then Espion, of course, with the magic bounce. Is it's a lot of times used with the Ductrial, but I'm gonna open up the PvP statistics page for you guys. Let me check. So, actually, hold up. I didn't prepare this, so it's kind of bad on my part, but I can do it like this. We can open, open up this here okay um put it a bit there and let's say we're going to the statistics page look at the win rate guys Ducturel's win rate is insane 56.772 with a six percent play rate that's actually pretty decent if you look at the usage like he's more used than freaking salamence more used than Weavile. More used than Jealous and more used than Empoleon. And still has a higher win rate than them. So, this already tells me. This can already tell. Ductrio has a high win rate and his usage rate is really decent. Like, obviously, Amoongus with a 60% win rate, but only a 0.54% win rate. Uh, play rate, actually. Uh, these play rates are pretty low. Golbet. Is a higher win rate, but um, obviously lower play rate. Almost half the play rate of uh, Ductrio. And if we click at Ductrio and look at the most common, like the most common ability, obviously Arena Trap. No one is really running Samvel unless they read it and forgot to use the ability capsule. Focus Sash, like I said, most used item. A Jolly, most used nature, of course. And look at the teammates. Like I made this example team, right? And they are all here. Ductrio, Togekiss. 36.35% uh, used with Ductrio. Golbat, 37. 37.47% uh, usage with the Ductrio. Um, I'm pretty sure Empoleon is here. Almost 20, like 19.17. Um, Espion. Espion is not used much. Like Espion, 24.80. Also quite used bit with the Ductrio. And Volcarona as well, 26.42. Like this is a stall team. Actually, Ductrio on stall is not that big of an issue. But look at this team. We're gonna look at the at the statistics. Hold up, I'm closing this. And let's look at the OU uh Pokemon, right? Which can actually threaten this team. Guard jump. Kind of gets walled by Golbat and Togekiss. So not that big of an issue. Uh, Scizor. Can be an issue. Uh, depending on the Scissor set, of course. But we do have a Vol Volcarona. Esprin has Hidden Power Fire. So, in that sense. You can even run Heat Wave on the Golbat if you really want to. Uh, Conkeldar. We do have a Psychic type. We do have Togekiss, which doesn't die from full, like fully physical defensive. And Air Slash can... Can flinch him down. We have a goal bet as well. Uh, Rotom, actually an issue to this team. Uh, Espion can take a few hits, can wish up. Um, but the thing is, like I mentioned before, goal bet and Togek is being the most difficult Pokemon to kill. Well, two of the most difficult Pokemon to kill. Rotom actually doesn't beat Togek is. Togek is after Togek sets up a Calm Mind, Rotom is never gonna damage it, and there, no one ever uses Nasty Plot Rotom. So in that sense, Togekiss sets up Calm Minds and will beat him, uh, Rodom down while Rodom cannot do anything in return. So that's why I don't see Rodom as a big counter to Togekiss. And Golbat can toxic him and spam Roost. And basically never die to Rodom. 
And obviously, Dogekiss has to heal Bell, so I don't think Rotom is an issue. Hydreigon can be an issue, but yeah, we have full Corona on this team, so Vol as long as Stealth Rocks aren't up, full Corona can come in and can just roost and th threaten the Hydreigon with Bug Buzz. Uh, Vol Corona in return, we do have Doge uh, we do have a Gold Bet, which with Brave Bird, we do have Empoleon with Toxic and Scald. Maybe you can run Roar to force out the, the Volcarona. But once again, we do have a Ductra with Focus Sash. We can knock him out with Stone Edge or Rook Slide. Because he never dies, remember? He, he doesn't die in one hit and can just knock out the Volcarona. Pelipper. Uh, Pelipper gets destroyed by Togekiss. On the other hand, Empoleon will sit there. Doesn't really do, do much. Uh, so we don't really see Empoleon as a threat. Esprion can also use Psychic to do a lot of damage on it. Uh, Pelipper will completely wall the Volcarona though. But I don't see Pelipper as a big issue to kill. Tyranitar! So just imagine guys, if you're running a Choice Band in Tyranitar with Superpower, which is a common set. Just imagine Ductrona being here. Look at how difficult it is to deal with the with the Tyranitar. And now here comes here's the thing. Normally Tyranitar would completely destroy the the trail if he switches in, but guess what? He hasn't. He's a focus sash. Then he uh let's say Ductrail comes in on a crunch, right? He'll be on one HP, clicks reversal. Tyranitar cannot switch out. And Tyranitar dies. And there goes the one Pokemon that can actually beat his team. Now your whole team gets completely walled by his your opponent's team. That's what I mean. Ductrio takes takes away the, the the skill install at the moment, in my opinion. Let's look at Kingdra. Oh, well, we have an Empoleon. Ferrothorn. Uh, we do have Espeon, which will completely wall Ferrothorn, by the way, with a, with a defensive set and can threaten him with Hidden Power Fire. We have a Volcarona as well. So I don't think that's an issue. Gyarados can be annoying, but we have an inner focus gold bat which clicks toxic and just will stall out the Gyarados, so it doesn't really matter. And worst case scenario, Focus Sash, Ductrio can knock him out with Stone Edge while living the waterfall if he doesn't get flinched. Chansey, Togekiss will completely set up on, t on Chansey. I uh, get 2 plus 6, and then Heal Bell, the toxics, and stuff. So I don't think Chansey is a problem. Mian Xiao, uh, we do have a gold bat. Will completely wall Mian Shao Togekiss as well. So I don't think Mian Shao is an issue. Excadrill can actually be an issue. This is where you have to keep Ductrail alive again because the moment Excadrill is gone, uh, your team won't be threatened. So in that sense, Ductrail again, guys. Reuniclus, we do have a Volcarona. Um, in this sense, maybe you want to run Roar and Empoleon in case uh, you want to remove the setup. Armanitan, actually a big issue. But once again, guys, Ductro can completely wall um, Darmanitan. So, for example, you, you sack one Pokemon to Darmanitan. If you, do, if you don't know if he's Scarfed or Bandit. If you know he's Bandit, you just hard, you go hard Ductrio and then knock him out with Earthquake while living on the Focus Sash. If you know he's Choice Scarfed, then you just sack another Pokemon first. But Choice Scarf, he's, first of all, He's going to take a lot of recoil and he might not even be able to break through Togekiss or Golbet while being Choice Scarfed. I might be wrong there though. But again, Darmanitan will get trapped by Ductrio in the end. Blissey, same story as Chansey. Gengar, I, we do have Empoleon, we do have Togekiss because Focus Blast is neutral. The one Quiver Dance for Corona will knock out Gengar as well. Kofagrigus, we don't really need to talk about Kofagrigus doesn't kill this team. Skarmory doesn't kill this team. Kabutops, again, big threat with su if he has superpower. Otherwise, Empoleon can do something against it. Waterfall is still going to do a lot. But still, we do have a Ductrio, so as long as Ductrio doesn't get flinched, Kabutops dies. And usually on a rain team, uh, once Kabutops dies, they don't have a threat to... Because Empoleon will pretty much wall anything uh, after that. Uh, Starmie... Um, can actually be an issue, but remember, Ductrio is faster than Starmie, so if he's running Life Orb and somehow gets past Empoleon, we just drop him with Ductrio. And if he's low enough, you can even go hard Ductrio, uh, if you're confident. Dragonite gets swallowed by Golbat, Toxic. Um, I guess Sub can be annoying, but 
Again, you do have Ampolian, which can roar. Doesn't really matter. Um, Superior, actually an issue. So you gotta use Togekiss. Um, Structure doesn't really do anything for Superior that much. So you gotta rely on Togekiss and Golbet though. It can be annoying if it uses glares and stuff. But you have to do two Pokemon which can deal with it. We're, we're just gonna look at the offensive Pokemon. Infernape with Choice Band can do a lot of damage to Golbet and Togekiss when using Stone Edge or Flare Blitz. But once again, guys, Dextrail is gonna sit there. If he's Choice Scarfed, uh, Golbet will completely wall him. If he's mixed, Dextrail will also trap him. So again, Dextrail being annoying. Venusaur. Venusaur can actually be an issue, but you do have a Golbat and Togekiss, which can live Weather Ball. But yeah, Venusaur can definitely be an issue. Gotta be careful there. Magnezone. Um, you actually run Shed Shell on Polion, by the way, uh, if you run it on this kind of team. But yeah, Magnezone. You just go hard Duck Trail if he clicks Flash Cannon. Uh, you just knock him out with Earthquake. Ductro is faster than Magnezone with a Choice Scarf. So if you want to get rid of Magnezone, that's the, that's the way to do it. Opposing Ductrio, I mean, you have a Golbat which will completely wall him. Uh, Togekiss cannot even break through Espeon. And Polin will have Shed Shell on his team's only Volcarona is threatened. And maybe your own Ductrio. Weavile, like I said, Weavile would actually be an issue to Duct Ductrio, Togekiss and Golbat. But yeah, you do have an Ampolion. And you even have, have a Volcarona. Ludicolo, I mean, with Empoleon. We have Empoleon. Doesn't even knock out Golbet. Doesn't knock out Togekiss, and they have flying type attacks. Salamence, uh, really depending if. Most specially offensive uh, Salamence will get walled by Empoleon, so it doesn't really matter. Breloom, we have the combination Togekiss, Golbet, Volcarona, even Espion, which Breloom cannot spore. So, also important to Chandelier. We do have an Napoleon. Uh, it's scary if he uses Trick, but once again, guys, Ductrail will wall Chandelure if it's not Choice Scarfed. If it's not Choice, well, however, Sh Chandelure is an issue because Chandelure cannot get trapped by Ductrail because Ghost types cannot be trapped by Shadow Tech or Arena Trap. So Chandelure is actually pretty decent, but on the other hand, it, um, like I said, we do have Napoleon in the back. Um, and yeah, now we're going really down on a tier list, but Cloyster, you have an Empoleon, which can sit there resisting every attack. Doesn't really matter. And Jolteon, look at this. If Dextro isn't here, Jolteon kind of beats this team for a Calm Mindset. Because uh, if he gets to plus one, uh, he can do a lot of damage to Volcarona. And, but yeah, Dextro just goes hard into... Um, Jolteon. Unless, unless Jolteon predicts the hidden power right, uh, predicts with hidden power rise, then he gets to it KO. But yeah, you can do stuff like you can even run Baton Pass on Espion. Uh, I use Wish Protect because you can wish and just hard switch. Hidden power rise doesn't KO Ductro by the way, unless he's choice packs, then he has then it has a chance. But yeah, Jolteon will get trapped by Ductrio. Maybe a substitute set would be really scary to this team, though. Would actually be really scary. Uh, but on the other hand, if it is a substitute set, Volcarona with Bug Buzz goes through. But on the other hand, su the substitute Calm Mind set gets completely walled by Chansey and Blissey. <laughs> and you have to run this specifically for this, but uh, any other set, Dextro will completely wall, uh, destroy. Uh, Lucario, same story, it gets trapped by Ductrio. Aerodactyl, actually a fun one. I was thinking about it because Ductrio doesn't get trapped by... Uh, Aerodactyl doesn't get trapped by Ductrio, but it does beat Togekiss and Golbat. <laughs> that would be funny. Heracross, I mean, you'd have Golbat and Togekiss. You can even run Aerial Ace on Ductrio, but you're already using two flying type attacks. You have Volcarona as well, so I don't really think Heracross is that big of an issue. And now we're really going down on the tier list. So, to summarize it, guys, um, stall team like this. Um, most of the Pokemon who can take care of these five Pokemon 
will get completely walled by, uh, will get trapped by Ductrail and die. On the other hand, Pokemon that can kill these three, this three combination, Togekiss, Ductrail, Golbat, like Weavile, Cloyster, they get walled wall by Empoleon. So, I really think, guys, it really doesn't take much skill to play, like, you can still lose quite some games. But in most cases, uh, your opponent won't be able to kill your team after Ductrio traps the main target, Tarantar, for example, Magnezone, Jolteon, those kind of Pokemon. And then Wipen. Then you just stall out his team, get a few combines with Togekiss and win. But yeah, that's my opinion on it. Um, I didn't prepare this video. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on Ductrio. Like, I really feel this Pokemon should be banned, or at least Arena Trap should be banned. Because, like I said, Ductrio, guys. Ductrio doesn't need three... Like, the nerf doesn't mean anything on Ductrio. He doesn't need three turns to kill Tyranitar. He doesn't need three turns to kill Mianchao. He doesn't need three turns to kill Infernape. He doesn't need three turns to kill Jolteon. He doesn't need three turns to kill Magnezone. That's what I mean, guys. Arena Trap is just... Stupid, and the reason because Togekiss with Calmite is becoming way more difficult to kill because Pokemon who was used to beating it, like Magnezone, uh, Rotom not Rotom doesn't really beat it, but Rotom damages it and gives you a free switch into something that can actually beat it. But if Togekiss now gets up a Calmite, the Thunderbolt, the Volt Switch won't do even much damage to Togekiss anymore. Uh, now the Pokemon, so it be it becomes more difficult to kill Togekiss. Like I think Calmite right now with a Bold Nature is the best set on Togekiss. Um, it's the best set on Togekiss, but the Pokemon that can st still beat it, Tyranitar, for example, just gets trapped by Ductrio. That's why I think it just doesn't take much skill uh, to play Ductrio on a stall team right now. Like, the high win rate and pretty decent usage rate speaks for itself. Because the only people who are playing this are stall players. Are people who are playing stall. You don't see Ductrio on, like, a balanced or offensive team anymore. It's only on stall. Because if it's on balanced or offensive, it doesn't really matter. Because Ductrio is not going to trap walls. <laughs> it's there to trap offensive Pokemon. And usually walls do well versus offensive teams, but offensive Pokemon usually do better against stall Pokemon uh, because they can actually kill some and stuff if you have the right Pokemon. But with Ductrail being able to trap them, it's just annoying. Anyway, I've been mumbling or rambling about this Pokemon now for about, about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. So, yeah, guys, uh, let me know if you agree. That this Pokemon should be banned or not, or if you don't, if you think it shouldn't be banned, give me a few reasons why. Like, I'd like to know, but in my opinion, I think it's stupid and it makes the game less fun for me as well. Like I've been playing and like I've beaten many team, many stall teams with Ductrio, but it just becomes annoying the way how easy it is to play this. Like with Focus Sash, Ductrio, you don't really have to think. You just have to eliminate one Pokemon that threatens your team, and then your team will, your opponent won't be able to kill your team. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, join our Discord server if you'd like to discuss this more, and check out my Patreon if you're interested in uh, the teams I use in my P PvP videos. But with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.